everyone welcome to my channel Nikrix. in this video i am going to explain you uh, the remaining concepts of postman uh, like in the uh, last video i have explained you like uh, how to submit a data or how to display a data in the postman uh, in this postman uh, you can say like api generator uh, in which you can just add and display the data. I have my video uploaded onto my YouTube channel and you can check out that video. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to edit and delete data with the help of Postman. So first of all, we need to just uh, delete the data. For deleting a data, we need to create a URL. Uh, I can just define here as delete data. Uh, so here, we can define here the it because in uh, whenever we are going to delete a particular record we need to pass a id of that particular record which is to be deleted so i am going to make make a function delete data so this is my route uh, that uh, it is going to take a delete data we have to enter a delete data along with the id and it is uh, taking me to the API controller in API controller I have to create a function name delete data so it's a get request so moving to my API controller uh, I have to create a function with the name delete data and in this delete data as I am going to pass an ID so I need to pass an argument over here in which uh, the ID of that particular record will be received and after that particular record ID will be received I need to check I have a student table so I need to check that student where uh, its ID and uh, ID is a column name in my student table and this ID is a variable which I have been passed if that particular ID exist in your database uh, that is an inbuilt function so if that particular id exists in your database then i need to just uh, find uh, for example i need to just create a variable and i need to find that particular id so if it is existing into your data into your table into your student table that particular id it will be going to find that particular id into your from your from your table and will return that particular reference in into your stud variable and with this stud uh, with this stud object i need to call a delete function so if this delete function is been executed means if a record is been deleted then it is going to return a response uh, we have to create a json json response over here so in this response i need to pass a message just make it short i need to pass a message uh, message is a e and the value of this will be record deleted and after that i need to just so if uh, my record exists into my table uh, that record has been fetched into my stud object and with the help of start object i need to just delete that particular record and if that record is being deleted then a response will be returned in which message has been displayed that record deleted if that particular record is not been fine then we need to return a response that will demonstrate that record not found so record not found and this is my delete function so we need to check that into a postman so moving to the postman uh, i have created an api with delete data so i need to check here as api delete data then i need to pass my id so if i need to pass my id uh, 
uh, first of all let's check that which one like records are present into my database so laravel basics so there is a student table we have a record number 24567 so i need to delete the eighth number record so into my postman after the delete data i'm going to pass an id and as it is a get request so i need to put here the get so send so here my message has been displayed that your record is being deleted so let's check into a database uh, that if my record has been deleted or not so if i'm going to click on a browse my eighth number record has been deleted so let's find something else like if i want to delete this second number record so i need to pass this delete data and slash after slash i will be passing here two so if i'm going to click on a send and that particular record is also been deleted if now i'm going to check into my database table so that second number record is also being deleted so in this way you can use your postman uh, to delete a record from your database and to check that whether your apis are running correctly or not so in a short i am going to explain you all these things in a quick view that we need to create a delete data a url that will that will be taking me to the delete data function in this api controller so in this api controller whenever this id is being passed because uh, it is taking a dynamic id over here so i need to pass a reference of id so when this delete data function is called with the help of postman this two variable this this two argument is be, will be passed in your id variable and then it will be checking into your table that if that particular id exists into your database it is going to uh, uh, that particular id exists into your table student table that particular record will be uh, uh, fetched and will be returned to this stud object with the help of some stud object i need to uh, like uh, uh, call a function name delete which is going to delete that particular record and after that it is going to return a response a json response that is going to like say that my record deleted otherwise it is going to uh, again return a response that will be saying that record not found if it is not found into your database so in this way you can just delete your record uh, like from your table with the help of this postman i hope you like my video so if you like my video do subscribe to my channel and like and share my videos thanks for watching the video